If you want a stable and long-lasting relationship, date a pleasant guy from Finland, because nice Finnish guys last. Welcome to Shave and Butcher. It's a shave today with some of the stuff I got from Marian the Barbarian. <clears throat> this is by no means new. This is Lakewood Soap Company Honeysuckle Hollow. The tallow shaving soap, and I do have the matching aftershave balm. Haven't tried this one yet, so be interesting to see what that is like. The razor, again, is the Feather uh, Artist Club DX with a super professional blade in on shave number five, five-ish, five, six-ish. Brush is Jeff Anderson, GA7 with a Badger knot. <clears throat> yeah, here we go. And uh, Marion doesn't seem to be all that thrilled with this soap. I watched the video where he compared it to PAA's Honeysuckle. What is it called? Honey. Son of Honeysuckle, which is a favorite of both Marion's and mine. This reminds of that, but Marion also refers to it as a candle scent. <laughs> and I think not as a compliment to the soap, but we'll see. Scent is scent, see what the soap is like. Seems to be loading up all right. As I always say, always tricky to know how much to load and how to build a lather when you're trying something out for the first time. So, you know, one of the things you get out of trying a soap for the first time is how easy it is to understand, you know, the lathering process. Yeah, maybe a candle scent. Quite overwhelming. So it's uh, I, I get the honeysuckle idea, mind you. I have a lot of honeysuckle. I don't. I don't get a lot of scent out of the flowers, and I have sniffed them. It's a, it's a favorite of mine. I think they're absolutely beautiful. We have them in the garden, a lot of them. Sort of growing on growing on fences and growing on on stones, rocks, that sort of thing. I'm adding water to the mix. That it seems to be going very well. Okay, that was a lot of a lot of water. So it's a tallow soap and you know what they say about tallow soaps? made from animal parts so that's good we don't want animal parts to go to waste it's bloop all over the place yeah looks pretty good actually it's a bit of a tallow scent or tallow scent is a strong word you know or you may not know, when you take a bone from, from an animal, because you want the bone marrow or something, and that, that, that's the smell you get after a few days, sort of decaying but clean. I get a bit of that. I'm not sure that's intended. <laughs> so, perfect mixture of garden flowers and decaying body parts from a cow. But the quality of the leather is great. Oh, all good. How are you doing? How's summer? My summer is pretty good. So far, let's see if that drops off the razor. It does indeed. 
Yeah, yesterday was a rain day. It was pouring down with rain. <clears throat> so we did, wife and I ran errands. Uh, today is going to be better, but no beach weather. So it's it's going to be work day. So today um, I'll start by washing washing the walls of the, the guest house we have. Small little house. But that needs a paint job. So today I'm putting, you know, algae and fungi, 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 <laughs> you know, the growth stuff. Uh, so low pressure pump and uh, putting that on everywhere to kill the whatever grows in the wood on the house and we'll let that sit for two three days to kill everything off and then it's time to wash it from dirt basically and then we can get on to shaving no painting we're not shaving the house So that should be fun, you know, that, that sort of work is, is fun. It's quick, you see results quickly, etc. And once, once that is done, nice first pass. Not a huge fan of the scent, to be honest. But a really, really nice soap. Great soap base. I can tell straight away Okay, here we go for the second coating. Yeah, once the house is painted, that's going to take a number of days, I'm sure. It's white today and it's going to be grey, greyish, quite dark. So it might take three, uh, three coatings actually. We'll see. And then, uh, and then we'll continue tearing off the the veranda and the porch and the stairs on the house stuff that will be torn down anyway because we're we're rebuilding and i'll use what i can to build a bit of a landing and stairs and small porchy veranda thingy on the guest house It's a lot more work than using new stuff, but saves you saves me money and quite a bit of money because building material is atrociously expensive. Double what it was a year ago. I think I'm repeating myself if you're watching this channel very closely, but I mean, for me, for me primarily, it's about not throwing, throwing good stuff away. Because you know, the high pressure treated, the pressure treated lumber, you can use that, you can clean it up uh, and you can turn the boards around if, if there are, if there's a problem with them. And it looks brand new. After you've washed it properly, it looks brand new. Kind of. So there's quite a bit of, of joy in that, in reusing the old stuff. Patio is more or less down, or pergola, pergola. We built a flower pot in wood as well. Um, so we're going to plant some, we're actually going to plant some honeysuckle in that. We'll get that from, well, we haven't decided where we're going to get it yet. 
my wife wants to pick them in, from the wild. There's quite a lot of it. I, I'm pretty sure you, 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 you can't, so I'm gonna stop that and either get it from the other place we have or, or just buy new. Because we don't want to steal, do we? So yeah, you know, when it's when it's ready and decorated properly, I'll, I'll show you. Uh, you can't wait, can you? Actually, the scent is is, is nicer now. Not quite as suffocating as it was originally. Suffocated, you know what I mean, you know, with because it's it's a very floral scent, but it's also quite sweet. I prefer floral earth to florals floral sweet, you know. So if I would ever make my own soap it wouldn't be too florally or at least i would combine it with with, with dirt and or wet grass or something yeah a very good shave indeed that razor is fantastic feather feather dx i can't say i have a better razor than that I might, but in terms of performance, it's it's really, really something else. If you haven't tried a Chevette, you know, you should consider it. There's loads of them. I like this one, I like the Wick, and, uh, and there are several others. Oh, nothing happens when you shake it, so it's either empty or very full. Honeysuckle Hollow. Apply a small amount, so I can't read. I can read. See if something comes out, yeah. I think it's quite possibly, absolutely brand spanking new. Used before, can't read. It's in good shape. Hmm, that is a nice smell. That's quite a bit nicer. And first impressions feels like a lovely, lovely bomb. Quite thick. I don't always like them thick. I don't use bombs a whole lot in the summer anymore. But in the winter, I like them kind of thick. This this feels like pure health. <laughs> you know, skin health are very nice. And a nicer scent. Maybe it's the same scent, just not as strong. No, there's more citrus in this. Interesting. Yeah, if I could read, I could, I could read <laughs> what's in it. Oh, that was nice. That was a not very pleasant experience. So great soap base, scent, uh, not, Nice, but not my type exactly. But the aftershave balm seems brilliant. It's already going into the skin. There's a bit of stickiness left, just the way I like it. Quite soon, you know, after half an hour, it's gonna skin's gonna feel perfect. I can I can tell. So that was a nice surprise. Lakewood Soap Company, out of Tennessee. Well, nice. Thanks, Mariam. Appreciate it. You guys, I'll see you next time. Stay sharp. Yeah, it's me again. So it's been a while. And this balm, wow. Beautiful, beautiful balm. Um, it's only my first time using it, but this, this is going to be a favorite. Lovely, great stuff. Brilliant, good work.
Lakewood Soap Company.